Little did the world know, Canada's triumphant Sochi darlings, the Dufour La Pointe sisters, had a secret weapon. One that began in this Montreal gym designed for elite athletes. But this secret looks much simpler, a tank top. This tank top with built-in sensors and a transmitter to send out vital information. Hey, over one. Go. I mean, automatically, if I move. <laughs> it starts going up. You get on here, heart rate. Breathing. Breathing. Rhythm, G-forces, and the steps. How many steps, how many steps I've done during my workout is going to calculate how many steps. Paul Gagné is one of the skiing sisters' trainers. He's worked with them for years and used Hexoskin, the technological tank top, in the lead up to the Olympics. Some of the key things the Hexaskin tracks G force, breathing volume, and heart rate. Even when the Dufois La Pointe sisters are abroad on foreign slopes, Gagne can monitor how they're doing. They were in Australia, I was talking to them. I'm Does that mean to... you call them up and say you got yeah, to cut, like, cut We down. do like it's a uh, Skype or FaceTime. Uh, even they will wear it when they sleep. I know there's their sleep patterns with that too. But for a coach, it's the ideal technology. It's like I'm inside your body. And for the athlete, it gives them instant feedback. Take the sisters, for example. Seconds matter, but so do jumps. How high is critical? We found uh, that when one of the girls was jumping, she was not breathing right, but she was jumping shorter. And with the exoskin, it enabled us to, to see that, because I can't see that by, with my eyes, that she doesn't breathe when she jumps. Then we made her aware of it. Automatically, she jumped like three, four inches Did more. she know? No, she had no clue. She had no clue. Exoskin was the brainchild of Pierre-Alexandre Fournier and his partner. The two young Montreal tech entrepreneurs were experimenting with traditional medical sensors, those awkward stick-on patches. It was late one evening and we were shirtless with wires on ourselves and sensors. And we looked at each other and we thought, well, th this is wrong. So they set out to create the latest piece of wearable technology. The Canadian Space Agency helped with funding, looking for an alternative to the uncomfortable option popularized in the movie Apollo 13. I am sick and tired of the entire Western world knowing how my kidneys are functioning. Flight at just lost level. Like Tom Hanks, the Hexaskin founders considered privacy. I'm not wearing my biomed sensors, Houston. Not everyone wants their health remotely monitored, their most sensitive information potentially susceptible to hacking. But Fournier says remote sensing is where the world is heading. So on your car today, you probably have at least 20 processors and hundreds of sensors that monitor every part of your car. Uh, it tells you that you're losing pressure in a tire before your tire is flat and you can take care of it and do preventive maintenance. And that's why you don't see a lot of cars on the side of the road today. Um, but what about us? I mean, if we want to do preventive medicine at some point, we have to put sensors on people to know what's going on. For elite athletes, their coaches, trainers and doctors, the idea of being able to remotely monitor heart rate and breathing is obviously critical. But there are other uses and Hexaskin is being called the next big thing because of the potential that it has in the medical world. In fact, the Hexaskin can already detect some of the symptoms of an oncoming heart attack. Fournier's wife had a heart condition and wears a Hexaskin for safety. So does the trainer Paul Gagné for his own cardiac defect. They found a little, it's called a myocardial bridge. It's a little, it's a bird defect. They thought, I mean, I, I thought I was this gonna die. Heart. Yeah, with the heart. I pushed a machine heart and I thought I was having a heart attack. Then with wearing the exoskin, it helps me a lot to monitor. Ready and go. Good, perfect. At the crossroads of sport and medicine is Thomas Krenzerchak of the Washington Capitals. He injured his knee and surgery knocked the athlete off the pinnacle of fitness fast. 
That's it, control. Come on, push it good. Trainer Paul Gagne wants to push Thomas to the limits, but no further. That's it, keep your eyes in front. Hexaskin pinpoints that sweet spot. Couple of seconds, stop. And Thomas is certain Hexaskin will become mainstream in professional hockey as coaches monitor their players on the ice. How do they tell now? How do they tell if you're too tired? Uh, they, they don't tell because every player want to play the most and even if you're tired you say you're good to go because uh, you want to show the coach uh, you're ready to go and uh, sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. Hexerskin began consumer sales a few months ago, but business is now really starting to take off. Big clothing brands already associated with athletics are knocking on Hexaskin's door. Then there's that investment from the Canadian Space Agency, which just finished testing a beefed up version of the Hexaskin in Antarctica. For 45 days, these explorers were monitored remotely by space agency technicians. It hopes to send Hexaskin to the International Space Station in 2016. The potential of such technology is immense, from astronauts to athletics to medicine. Wearable tech is on the leading edge, with a Canadian invention at its peak. David Common, CBC News, Montreal.